This is the first video in a series that I'm going to call Recognizing Patterns for Success or Failure. Now, um, the new map, uh, the newly revised Al Haluf is, is really great. The, the few battles I've fought on it so far are completely different from the past. It's possible for a scout to survive. It's possible to uh, move around um, in concealment a little bit better. It's more survivable, and the changes they made to the map, I think, have, uh, so far at least, uh, the campers are disappointed. So in this particular battle, the pattern that I want you to see here is there is a Panther 2, a Centurion 1, and a WZ1111, uh, already identified on this flank, or on this side of the map. Now I'm going to uh, bring the tanks back here and I'm going to hit the space bar to advance the action at regular speed and I've got the free camera on and the pattern that I saw here first of all the Panther 2 was killed based on either the Leopard or me saw him and I'm marking time here but when I see something uh, I get excited because I realize uh, what it means for our possible our potential action here. So, we now have two tier 8s and a tier 9 that are isolated relatively speaking on this side of the map. Uh, they killed that leopard there. And uh, there, they, uh, T54E1 just killed the leopard. So that means there's five vehicles that were over here. And they just lost a, a tier 8 and a tier 7. Or to execute two tier eights, my apologies. So what that means is that our huge group over at A2, quite likely, if they push hard, we are going to win this game. It's it's almost certain because we have a superior force able to attack. They do, they can't possibly have enough vehicles to stop us. So I told Alphys and Elad that we had to do it right now, and I do a spotting run across here. It's a bit dangerous, but this tank is not my A20. It's got 900 hit points versus 340, and uh, my likelihood of survival, even if I'm hit, is much higher. And here we go. So Alvis and Elad are climbing the hill here, and I told both of them that I was not going to stop under any circumstances, that we had to do it now, or the enemy might have an opportunity to reinforce the position. You know, you've heard me say it, the clock is ticking, and it's got to be done right away. Now, for, well, that IS-3, actually, that ain't too bad. He's uh, still going to participate in the action here. So, unfortunately, Elvis got hit hard there. But, like I say, this is one of those situations where, me, personally, I, I ain't stopping for nothing. Uh, because if we get stalled here, um, you know, there's Artie, there's, they can reinforce, they can come back. So we got to get it over and done with right away. So I see the Centurion. I know the Amex 50 is there. So I'm going to get behind them. So I cut... Hard right turn here, keep driving, and I'm loving these new torsion bars on uh, the Amex 1375. I've only broken my tracks once doing this, so uh, as you can see, it's shaping up beautifully here. And uh, fire teams win, and uh, we have a little bit of fun with that guy. Boom, and I still got two shells left for the Conqueror, the tier 9 British tank, which is all that great. I got two kills in here. Elvis got him, and an arty shell hit me. But as you can see, uh, by attacking impetuously there, without hesitation, it's game over. And at this stage, my main concern was to get the two IS-6s with their awesome armor to go out in front, and uh, for us not to lose the impetus of our, our assault here. When you have an advantage, you have to do it have to make full use of it before the opportunity goes away so fortunately that those IS6s from uh, Yusevic and Garfield uh, I presume they're good enough players to uh, recognize that uh, any delay is a bad idea I don't know why I'm sitting here on the reverse slope Oh, I couldn't resist uh, thanking the WZ1111 for revealing to me the possibility for uh, the victory. And uh, essentially, 
The MX 1375 is great for being able to switch flanks. I wish it was faster. I wish it had better acceleration. Um, I'm starting to like the tank a little bit better. So there you go, guys. Uh, recognizing a pattern for success, and in this case, it went perfectly. Game over.